What's up, guys? So I wanted to talk about one of my favorite intellectual heroes, Socrates. So I think everyone knows him as the uh, philosopher, the founder of Western thought, the uh, guy with the pot belly, <laughs> ugly face that walked around the Agora of Athens um, talking to the youth about matters of ethics and stuff like that, right? Well, that's not the complete picture of him. Picture this dude now as a military badass, because that's exactly what he was. Um, besides doing philosophy and teaching philosophy and even having some uh, positions in the Athenian assembly, dude was a decorated war hero. And this is no exaggeration. He fought in no less than three battles of the Peloponnesian War, which was a war of Athens against Sparta, okay? Uh, he even dressed the part, apparently, with a cloak and a, a long uh, staff, which would have made him look similar to, like, a Spartan soldier, actually. But, yeah, he was an Athenian hoplite, which is a citizen soldier, and would have been part of the, part of the arm, armored infantry. That's pretty badass. And we're talking about ancient Greece. So war is already scary enough in this day and time where you have to shoot people from a distance. But imagine having to go there and actually beat them with clubs and swords. Uh, per, like, tete-a-tete, -tete, okay? That's pretty rough, okay? And the fact that they said that he was showing... Um, immense amounts of bravery and valor and even seemed to display a lot of endurance and mind you this isn't a young Socrates he maintained his military career way up into his older years uh, when the Peloponnesian Wars happened I think he was already between 38 and 48 years of age so we're talking about a middle-aged man in ancient Greece doing his thing Okay, so that might change some people's uh, perspective of this man as being maybe a symbol of just someone just living the life of the intellect. Although he enjoyed it, of course, he was all about military service. People would have sought him out, not just for philosophy, but also for uh, matters of uh, military tactics as well um, because they valued the opinion of a of a decorated war hero who's a veteran in those wars okay he definitely would have been sought out for that uh, he made his fame in Athens as a warrior not as a philosopher later on he came to be famous as a philosopher who you know went to the oracles of Delphi and sought to find who was the wisest person, yada, yada, yada. But the same self-discipline that he showed in philosophy, he also displayed in the military as well. And like I said, a middle-aged man who's known for exemplary endurance, bravery, and courage, you have to give it up to the man, okay? And I'm going to leave a link if people are more curious about knowing about this aspect of, of Socrates' life because I think it's um, not talked about much and it should be because a lot of people see this uh, founder of Western thought and of the Socratic philosophers as maybe just exemplifying an intellectual lifestyle of, of uh, maybe decadence or I don't know, whatever king people might think, people like Nietzsche who thought that um, Socrates wasn't well respected, which is completely false, but never listen to Nietzsche about philosophy. He was a mediocre philosopher at best, and a lot of his latter writings were actually co-opted by his sister and turned into something different than what he intended it to be so she could use it to support fascism as his sister was a, a Nazi sympathizer. So people like Nietzsche and others who may uh, have uh, disparaging remarks about Socrates and Plato, 
really don't know what they're talking about. Like I said, the man was a military badass, a decorated war hero. So I'll let you uh, get that link if you want it. All right. <laughs>